Hey there, it's Lindsay, and in this video, I'm going to walk through it a little bit on Pinterest analytics and what you should pay attention to. Over in my membership, the Action Taker Haven, Helen had asked this question and she said, I know you talked a little bit about this on the live Q&A, but I would really love a tutorial about Pinterest analytics. Those numbers that are on the homepage as well as those within the actual analytics trying to make sense of it when monthly new viewers on my account seems huge 680,000 and yet i only have 180 followers i need to understand what i'm doing that's right as well as what i'm doing but should you know not doing but should be doing things okay so you can go into analytics <laughs> the thing about analytics is that you can dive into them and kind of go down a rabbit hole. But if you pay attention to, you know, just a few things, then you'll have an easier way to look at it. So I'm just going to walk you through and answer your question. So right here is what you're talking about with your monthly viewers. So if you have 690,000 monthly viewers, that's great. But lately what I've been hearing is that this is more like a vanity number is not um, something that you should really celebrate over. And I hopped over to Pinterest and read what they had on their blog. Um, this is from business.pinterest.com. But it says, you know, at the very top of your profile, you'll need to see a new helpful stat and monthly viewers. This tells you the total number of people who saw your pins in the last 30 days. So you and the people who visit your profile can see how far your influence extends on Pinterest. And then, you know, they say, hey, you can always promote your pins so you see more. But so that just shows, you know, that number is just how many people saw it. The thing about that is that that's great that many people saw it, but what you really want to be paying attention to is how many people actually interacted with your pins, how many people um, clicked on your pins and went, you know, went to your website or whatever. So I'm going to show you what I like to do. So you can, you can click on this monthly viewers thing right here and it will take you right to this and you can see, but look, so even on mine, I have, you know, 163,000. And then right here it says, but only 5,000 were engaged. So even though this many people saw my pins, only this amount <laughs> engaged with it. So and that's still not bad. And it's up from what it was last month, but that's just something to kind of pay attention to. So I'm going to hit that, or I'm going to just go, go right here to analytics and go to overview. I just kind of show you something too. So, you know, this number right here. So now it says 172,000, which is like 10,000 more than what that other thing said. But over here, I can see, okay, but my daily impressions and, you know, that, um, <laughs> like I said, there's so many things that you can pay attention to. But what I like to do is um, I like to click on this activity from my website so that I can see how many people were actually clicking over to my website. So I can see that this content calendar cheat sheet is a pen that's doing really well. Um, you know, people are clicking on it, people are saving it. Uh, and this is how many impressions it has on it. Um, you know, these other ones aren't bad at all either, but if you see this one right here, it has a lot of impressions, but nobody's clicked on it and nobody has saved it. So that's just something. Oh, you know what? So what I did with the, what I've been doing lately is making two separate pins for my articles um, or my blog, my articles, my blog posts. So right here, so looking at it, I'm just gonna click on it so you can see. So this pin, so see it has like, this background with the keyboard and the flower. You can see right here, okay. Um, oh, well, it has had 47 saves and 22 clicks. Um, let's click that other one. That other one.
So this one, instead of it having the, um, the keyboard, it has these fish. <laughs> I just thought it was funny because it was, it was totally unrelated to the subject matter. But look, 4,000 impressions, 30 saves, 21 clicks. And again, just comparing it to that other one, it's, you know, this one obviously is doing much better because it has 8,000 impressions. But when it comes to saves and clicks, they're kind of close. So that's just something that you can test and see, you know, which one does better. But anyways, um, you can just come back and just look, okay, well, how many people are, you know, what, what pins are getting clicked on and doing well. And right here it says show more. You can click on that and, you know, go in more. Now I use Tailwind. So that's why you'll see like this, you'll see separate pin, like more pins for the same pin. Um, as every time you repin something on Tailwind, it makes a new pin for it, uh, which is fine. But <laughs> obviously this content calendar cheat sheet is doing really well because that's really all that's showing up in my analytics. Um, but okay. Uh, I don't have to show you boards. Uh, let's see. So you can go to up here. You can even go to clicks and see, you know, how many stuff are getting clicks. Another thing that you can do is you can hop over to Google analytics and you can look at, um, you know, what posts people are clicking on and how they're getting there. So what I like to do is go to, okay, so this is Google. Let me move my head. Uh, maybe I'll move it over here. <laughs> um, so you can go to acquisition overview. No, acquisition, all traffic referrals. And then here you can see where people, how people are getting referred to your website. So I obviously know that Pinterest is working because look, it's my highest referral um, right above YouTube and then Facebook and then Instagram. Um, so that's something that you can say, okay, well, good. Pinterest is working. And I know that there are ways that you can dive deeper and to see like which pins are working best, but <laughs> we don't have to do that right now. Um, and then if you want, if, if you need something, if you are unfamiliar with using Google analytics, Elna over at twins, mommy, um, this is Elna. She did this blog post is really good. It's how to set up Google analytics and the important metrics for new bloggers. And it's great because she has a video tutorial and she also just kind of walks through all of the different things that will help you understand Google Analytics a little bit better. Um, I even learned stuff in here that I didn't really know. And she has, you know, screenshots that are really helpful too. So I'll leave the link for that below this so that you can see it. But, but yeah, so let me just go back to your question and make sure that I answered what you were saying. Um, so yeah, those numbers are huge. And that's good, but you just want to make sure that people are still clicking over to your website and then that's what you can, you know, pay attention to. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that was helpful for you and, um, hopefully that was helpful for you and it kind of gives you a little bit more insight. Another thing that you could do <laughs> diving even more deeper into analytics is that you can even go over the tailwind. I know that you used, my head keeps being in the way. Um, I know that you used Tailwind too. You can go over here and you can, okay, so this is your dashboard and Tailwind. And then you can click this little, um, I always say mountains, but I know it's a graph. So click on that. And then in here, you can look at stuff as well and see how things are doing. So to go into your boards and check your boards, click right here. It says board insights, um, hide your secret boards. Cause you don't want to see any, um, 
recommendations on that. And then in here, you can go to, okay, which one, which ones are getting the best engagement and you should click there. Um, so of course my, this board that I'm on for lip sense is doing really good as far as repins. Um, and look, another one for lip sense is doing really well as well. Um, but I, I can see that my board that has best of Hazel Haven is doing really well. So that's just kind of something to play, pay attention to too, because then you can know, okay, well, these boards are doing really well and they're driving traffic to my site too. And you can check that as well. So again, hopefully that was helpful and you didn't get too confused as far as analytics go. Um, I highly suggest only checking your analytics once a month because it's very easy to get sucked into, oh, what's this doing? Or, oh, what does this mean? Or what is that? Or anything like that. Uh, what I like to do is at the end of every month, I just track my growth and I'll just compare okay, last month to this month and, you know, what's working and what's not working. And then I can have a better idea moving forward. Now, you don't have to do that every month. You could do it every quarter, but I feel like doing it every month just really helps to, uh, you know, just know where things are in the moment, but without getting too overwhelmed with any of it. So, so yeah, so hopefully that was helpful. And that's all I have for now. Um, and if anyone else is watching this and you're wondering, well, how did Helen get a personalized um, video? This is within my Action Taker Haven membership. Uh, each month we have monthly themes and we do live Q and A's and there's a Facebook group and uh, some tutorials and stuff like that too. So I'll just, scroll through this so you can kind of see things and I'll leave the link for this as well. But yeah, I hope you're having a good day and uh, let me know if you have any questions about understanding your analytics.